I, I think that we have been on this new channel for about one year now, it's one year, and uh, you have seen uh, some of my watches, but I never showed you my little cases with all the watches inside. So I took this first one, okay, so this is the first video about my collection, part one, and let's discover what we have here. So I bought this on Amazon, it's very comfortable, very cheap, it's not expensive, but it's very, very useful to keep watches, uh, you know, for, for who, like me, has uh, more than a couple of watches. Let's say that way. Okay, so here we have my first six watches. So I would like also to, to let you know briefly how I got in touch with those watches, okay? For example, let's start from this one, which is a, a Tissot. Okay, this is uh, from year 2000 and it's a very beautiful watch, really beautiful, very classic, squarish design, square design, black dial, stainless steel, very good conditions, the, everything is original. I recently had to change uh, the inside as you can see here. The leather strap was completely ruined after so many years. So one year ago, I was able to find it. Everything is uh, exactly original from Tissot. And I found it. I found it in, uh, in Paris. And now I have a watch that is in, in perfect configuration. Original configuration. Okay. This watch comes from year 2000, as we said. And it's a present of my mother as it's weight, very good quality. So Tissot, that's the first one. Now, let's go and check a second one. Another Tissot, the gentleman. This one, it's a, a watch that I bought one year ago. You already have a couple of videos on my channel about this one. I love the blue dial, I love the blue finish. Uh, it's a beautiful watch. It's, uh, it's very classic. And why do I have it? Simply because I was searching for some watches of a good level, a good brand, with stainless steel solid strap. You know, this one has a very beautiful one. So at that time, one year ago, I told myself I have to, I must have a new watch with a stainless steel uh, strap. And I was checking Tissot because I like Tissot a lot. And that's why I, I looked at it. Then I discovered that uh, they came out with this model, which is a quartz model, but also with the Powermatic 80 that uh, it's automatic. And of course it costs the double price. But I told myself at the end, I have so many automatic watches, I will buy quartz, spend less money and have a really beautiful watch. This is very, very beautiful. Go and check a specific video I made about this uh, Tissot gentleman. Very nice butterfly lock. So that's the reason why I have it. I was really looking for a beautiful watch, good brand, no, known brand, but all stainless steel and classy, with a classy design. And it's the, exactly the same period I was watching this that I discovered Venezianico, which is this one, which is an Italian brand, so from my country. I didn't know the existence of Venezianico until a year and a half ago. So I start watching, looking at their watches, the website, heavy, okay, a little bit in the Rolex style uh, type, and uh, then I saw that those guys, uh, basically, what, what do they have? Venezianico is a brand new company, so almost seven years is there. It's a startup, an Italian startup that is doing really well. They, of course, improving their products and the detailing in the respecting the Italian tradition of craftsmanship in terms of uh, uh, quality, detailing, and the aim of reaching always a better quality. So I told myself I might give a chance to those guys. 
I went to see the prices and this one I, I got it for 470 years in January last year so it's one year exact one year I have it it's perfect it works really well okay you can see there is a very nice uh, feeling quality feeling good resistance about this uh, there you go and then also because of the blue that's also what I like because this blue it's a very similar blue this one is deeper blue. this one is more flashy ceramic on top of the crown here and then there is this bracelet that is a also a full stainless steel bracelet but with a particular new pattern design around the lock and also about the design of this uh, bracelet that they call the Canova bracelet. Look, it's really nice, beautiful. There is a very good relationship between what is polished and what is uh, brushed in the type of uh, finish. And the good thing also is that uh, this is uh, basically a, an H, you know, like this one, an H design, classic design uh, stainless bracelet, but as you can see between those two, here there is more design, there is more finesse. There is something that goes over the simple H, beautiful eh? H uh, design of this stainless steel. Here it's a little bit more, in my opinion, it's like uh, this one has an extra touch, you know, something extra, you know. It's a little bit thick, but the latest ones they are making, they are thinner. So this one was a very good surprise. And then because this one was a very good surprise, I told myself, why not buy another one if they keep the same price, which they did. So here there is the other one. So this one is the Nereide, okay? Just, uh, I forgot, Nereide. You, see, you can see it's written there. Okay, so this is the Nereide. And then I bought this one, this other Venezianico, which is a Redentore with 40 hours power reserve. And the power reserve, it's around here, okay? You can see that uh, hand there with the orange, you know, with the orange dot there. And that one, as you can see, if I do that, look, it's moving to make, you know, the power reserve and they always advise to have this as much as possible, the maximum so 40 hours we are gonna do it 40 hours and this one also I paid less than 500 euros I find this a very good watch also automatic, of course, with this uh, power reserve, okay the date and uh, very nice Italian leather craftsmanship uh, uh, strap comes from Tuscany, a company that makes those uh, bracelets, in, those straps in different type of colors, of course. But this one is, of course, uh, uh, assorted with the same dial color. So that's what they did. And as you can see in the back, you have uh, Redentore, which is uh, this building in, uh, in Venice. Because you have to know that uh, uh, Venezianico is from Venice, and those guys made this company in a way that uh, every uh, line, every watch they produce, it's uh, tied to uh, an historical moment of, of their town. Okay. Then of course the, the screws, the six screws to, you know, to block the back case, which is a sign of uh, high quality. So that's why I have those two. You know, those are the two Venezianico I have. Now, if you are interested to go and check out uh, Venezianico, you can also go and check their um, Facebook page, which is very active. And in their Facebook page, now you will find also the latest design they just made and let watch they just produced which is a, a chromo which is very beautiful a little bit more expensive than those ones of course but very very nice 
So go and check it out if you are if you are interested. Veneziani. Then there is another watch to which I'm really sentimentally attached. Is this one, which is a Rado a model of uh, I would say late nineties. Uh, okay. And this one, it's an historical piece because uh, that's when Rado was making a lot of research and development on anti-scratch material and uh, materials that would be really, really hard. And therefore, in the, between the 70s and the 80s, they made uh, more than 10 years of uh, this type of, uh, of research with the Japanese company. And that's how they created and patented this type of ceramic that uh, it, it cannot get scratched, you see? I can, uh, I can clean it, but will never be, never get scratched. It's almost like a jewelry. To me, it is like a real bracelet, you know, for men, but a real bracelet. So this one, it's a chromo, it's a quartz, four screws in the back, and it's made of uh, this uh, high temperature anti-scratch ceramic and titanium. This one is in titanium. Parts of the case inside are titanium with a sapphire glass that is domed, as you can see from the section. Look, it's round. There is a crown here. You see, this is a really beautiful piece. It's of course expensive. Eh? So this one, you, you, you know, used, I've seen the latest, uh, you can find it around between 1,500 and 1,800 euros. Basically, it doesn't lose its value. So that's the price uh, was paid uh, many years ago. Many years ago, this was a little bit less than 1,500. Okay, but in a jewelry. This one, it's a, it's a great watch that I'm very proud, very happy to have in, in my collection. And the last one I'd like to show you, which is a little bit the, the, the stranger, we would say, between those six, is this one, because this is the Chinese, you know, typical chronograph 1963, okay, from Siegel. And everybody knows this because it's uh, considered the only Chinese watch that somebody can, somebody can collect, so collectible, okay? And uh, I bought it because I really like it. It's very cheap, 120 euros, okay, bought it from AliExpress, but you can find with few extra euros on Amazon, very easy. Uh, this is automatic, of course. And, but, the, but the strap is new, eh? because I didn't like the black one, or the military one they they gave it in their box so i i searched for this one this is a this is a german racing type of uh, pure leather strap with a nice thickness as you can see it cost it 50 years you can see inside the mechanic that is really really pretty okay Very rich, I would say, very flashy, very beautiful with its star, red star, China Republic. This is a, in origin, a military watch, blue hands, and this goldish, you know, champagne, I would say, dial. Everything is really polished chrome. And I bought it, why? Because I had an experience in China of uh, life experience for work so for me uh, after that experience to have a real Chinese watch is like a how can I say a witness of that of that period that I spent in uh, in China living uh, living there for work which was a very beautiful experience too I showed you part one of my collection I don't know when I will show you the the other part okay because there are still two or three of those so we will we will do it don't worry now I'm, I'm thinking of a new watch, 
and we will see this next uh, in the, during the next months if I decide to buy it. Okay, I can only tell you the the name of the brand. It's a Yema, which is beautiful, and they're doing really beautiful watches, and they have also a nice history. I will be watching this one, and 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 I'll see if I'll take the decision to buy it. Of course, if I buy it, I will make a video right away so that you can see it. Okay, thank you very much. If you like uh, this video, please put your like. If you would like to add some comments about the watches that you just saw here, please do. And uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, well, in that case, uh, it would be a great pleasure because you will help this channel to grow more. Thank you.